the Grand Festival was special, unique. A generation grew up over these nine years of Splatoon. Isn't that crazy? For whatever Splatoon 4 wants to do is their own Grand Festival? How... how do you top this? Where do you start? Today, I want to talk about some ways to make Splatoon 4's Grand Festival even bigger, even better. Let's go. All right, our first one is something I feel like a lot of people will like. During the Grand Festival, we had this little teeny tiny art gallery showing off a variety of posts, both horizontal and vertical. I think it was very nice that let the vertical posts be shown too. Imagine if you couldn't see them. Imagine instead of a little space like this, a completely dedicated room or even just a bigger space with some kind of interactable computer. Something like this size instead, maybe. Imagine being able to talk to a computer and filter the posts so you could see just the ones by your friends if you want. Imagine being able to zoom in on a picture of your choice, one that you really like, and bada bing bada boom, you get to see the message associated with the picture. Like, you know, Miiverse style. It'd be so nice. They're feeling really daring really silly, like like this piece of art here. They can even add a <laughs> hashtag system. I'd be screaming like this salmon if they did that. <laughs> looky, looky, looky. There's a schedule over here of all the performances that are going on during the Grand Festival. That's much better than something else we have in this game, aka the kind of bare bones schedule that we have in game to see what's going on with matches. During the Splatfest, wouldn't it be nice to have this level of knowledge? To know what maps are going to be showing up when across the entire 72 or even 96 <laughs> hour event? Imagine the whimsy of knowing exactly when Black Belly Skate Park 2 is going to be back in rotation at 4 p.m. on Sunday, I would be there. Does the NSO app show all this information? Yes, but not every person has access to the NSO app. And also, on top of that, it's still only 24 hours. We could know even more. Speaking of more, what about more people in this ding dang plaza? Listen, listen, I have an OG day one Nintendo Switch, and it's shocking to me how well this game works despite that. But just imagine, on a stronger console, in a bigger game, having more than just a few people ambling about here. Imagine having the concert and having your friends in the crowd with you and not just the jellyfish. Not to imply this wasn't awesome, by the way. This is, like, super great. It was funny to push them all around. Splatoon 3's lobby system already had a fix to this with the hologram system which meant that players could just be in your room, but you know, not all the way in the room. If Splatoon 4's Grand Festival 2 equivalent thingamabob is something similar to an indoor giant stadium, who's to say they couldn't reuse this hologram technology to be able to invite your friends in to run around the square with you, the plaza with you, the stadium with you, what have it may be. We could take the jukebox to the next level in Splatoon 4. Imagine being able to choose the song that you want, but that song is being performed in an exclusive concert hall. Oh yeah. Remember earlier I mentioned the idea of being able to have your friends hang out with you at the event? I mean, hey, in this concert hall, they have the hologram light capability, or like they, they could if they wanted to. It looks, looks pretty similar to the Splatoon 3 lobby. Imagine you and your hologram friends at minimum being able to bounce and laugh and watch the shows together in here. It'd be so cool. Pick a song in a jukebox and then get whimsical with it. <laughs> During the next Grand Festival, we need more interactable NPCs! The world of Splatoon 3 is so full of life. I mean, come on, you come over to the plaza and you, you see this right here? All these signatures from all these band members are idols? It's, it's so good! I mean, like, at least I can press Y to pet Gilbert. <laughs> That's my interaction, it seems, for now. Imagine if you could talk to the jellyfish over at the plaza. I mean, hey, these NPCs are probably off-duty while the Grand Festival's equivalent is going on. Let us blab! 
give them dialogue for funsies. When the idols aren't performing, we could be able to yap with them also. This ties back into the idea of a concert hall anyway, because if only one group is performing in the hall, the, the other ones could just be there. Oh, 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 oh. Give a dedicated spot to some random group to stand around when they're not performing. That way, you know, they're not all there at the same time, but you get to see somebody. Under the assumption that Splatoon 4 story mode will be relatively different compared to 1 to 3, there are a lot of characters that might not have a role anymore. And those characters are perfect to show up during the Grand Festival number 2! Like, come on, people were losing their minds seeing DJ Octavio at a booth in a game where he's relevant. Imagine one where he's not! If they want more people to be aware of the event in the first place, more build-up dialogue should be introduced. Die-hard fans will always be excited for an event after being told about it, but your fella that just plays Splatoon like once a month might need more convincing. What if every time you went into a unique shop for the first time after the fest was announced, they reminded you that it was coming up? Maybe by like the fourth or fifth shopkeeper, it could feel like a little bit much, but hey, at, at least they know. You know, assuming that lockers make it from Splatoon 3 to Splatoon 4, which I, I wouldn't mind at all, let's keep up the locker shenanigans, but, but, let's have some fest exclusive lockers. Just one exclusive locker per person, as a treat, as, as a little bonus. People's creativity would soar if you gave them an extra opportunity. Listen, I know some of us are a little bad at using even uh, one of these, but... <laughs> Isn't it wild that you'd be watching a concert like this? And then you want to go and play Splatoon 3? You hit the lobby button and bada bing, and you're back in Splatoon 3's lobby. It didn't really feel right all the way. Splatoon 4 in general could have their own lobby for Splatfests. So when the big event happens, it's extra special. All right, I have one more beautiful idea for you. Imagine, you already have this giant concert area in Splatoon 4's Grand Festival equivalent, but what if you could make a space yours? If we do truly have some indoor kind of stadium, why not have a separate space that you're able to make your own? If we have all that locker decor, imagine being able to put it on the ground. I know, I know, you would have to have like collisions for every single object, but it's okay. I, I believe in the depth. Come on, you could bring back the Splatoon 3 vibes with the Moai party if you wanted to. Imagine a room full of snacks. Imagine a room full of plushies. Imagine you and your friends being able to gallivant around in that room together with those holograms. Oh, it's it's all coming together now. But in the end, the future <laughs> is in Nintendo's hands. Someday we'll get to see firsthand where things go. Thank you for listening, and be sure to subscribe if you want to hear me yap some more in the future. But don't be making any shady deals to make it happen faster.